wants a gold jeans. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. Let's see what he can get done from inside his own 15. Probably needed to pick up an extra block or two, but as it is, he'll be stopped at the 28. Looking for a productive play on first down. Use the play fake. Now to throw. He's going to take a shot. And that'll be incomplete. They tried to hit him with a big one on first down. DB does an outstanding job here on the deep pass. Locating the football. No P.I. Able to swat it away. Pass incomplete. Finds his big tight end. The defense wouldn't let him loose there. And it was a completion, but they lost yardage. I like the idea by the quarterback there. You're trying to get this first down, so you find the tight end. See if you can make a guy miss or shake a tackle. Not able to get it done. Oh, he's going to try to hit him over the top. And it's picked off. Looking for more room. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. And that's kind of a double whammy for this offense because on their opening drive, not only did they turn it over with the interception, but they've now set their defense up in a really tough spot deep in their own end. The offense starts with a short field. Martinez on the carry. Running with power. He stopped just a chain link or two away from the first down and sets them up beautifully here. And that would be the definition of first down success. Putting yourself in a good position. It's second and inches. I can do whatever I want next. I can take a shot down the field. I can run the football and get a new set of downs. Like, nice first down execution. Here's the handoff. Makes one man miss. Defense makes a stop, but the chains move, and it's first and goal from the eighth. Wow, the running back there showing you his skill set as he's able to rip off that one for a first down. The receivers often will run their route based on a side adjustment. Headed outside for the line, it's Martinez. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And the offense, they're just trying to be physical. They're trying to run this ball in down close to the goal line. The defense, though, they are having none of it. They'll run it here on third and goal. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Keep the foot on the pedal if you're on offense here. You got that yardage. Yeah, you didn't get the first down, but you've set yourself up now to go for it here and keep this drive alive. They'll send out the kicker to try to salvage this drive. It is good! There is a flag on the play, and if this is on the defense, guys, would you take the points off the board here? The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Go, the Hurricanes have it in scoring position on first and goal. Pushes for the goal. Line. And a really short game before he gets a whole bunch of company from the defense. See if they can get it done on second and goal. Running back looking for the end zone to the left. Just hammer it with this running back again. He noses his way into the end zone. We knew this offense wanted to come into this one, establishing the run. Guys, they didn't even attempt to throw on their first drive. They were more physical. They were pushing guys around up. This guy caps it off with a nice touchdown. And he knocked that one right down the middle. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. The kickoff bounces through the end zone. They'll bring it out to the 25. Here comes that Alabama offense. 
After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. And Palmer, I want to know what Spurrier said to you. Looking for a deep man. He's got it downfield for a huge game. There he goes to the right. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. And once he found daylight, it was Katie bar the door, baby. Quarterbacks love receivers that can get separation, but that amount of separation uh, is a little excessive. I agree, Reese, and I think the defense needs to have a little powwow on the sidelines and talk about what just happened because that was an absolute busted coverage on the back end. Defense can't keep playing like that. After that latest answer, tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. Going for the return. Gets it out to the 20, about five yards short of where he'd be if he'd just taken a knee in the end zone. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. David, they'd love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well. Palmer, they executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in it. Fires it into traffic, and it's picked off. Didn't get a ton on the return, but the most important thing, he got the ball, and they've got it at the 48. QB's got to pick and choose their spots when they want to be really aggressive and try to fit balls in tight windows. Great job by the DB, making a big play, getting the ball back to its offense. He's going to fire deep. And the ball is intercepted. Got some room to run. He'll finally go out of bounds, but he was showing off all the skills after that interception. This is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision making. Quarterback will audible. Plows through the defense. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. We'll get this quarter going with a second down play. They'll turn to Martinez. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Great job by that defender. I mean, he timed that snap count perfectly, got into the backfield and created the negative play. They've got some work to do on this third and long from the 40. They go to the ground. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it. And now it's just going to be a passing game. This is not leather helmet era football. This is analytics around midfield, four down territory. Throws to the tight end. And it's incomplete way downfield and the defense rises to the occasion. It's really early in the game right now. And if it's fourth and short, fourth and medium, maybe I see going for it certainly. But fourth and long, that's a situation I think you got to punt and just let the game play out. Trust your defense a little bit more. The tied offense rolls onto the field. Well, let's see if this drive goes better than the last one. They were in and out quickly after the quick pick, David. Yeah, first play, big mistake, man. Now, let's get this offense in a little bit of a rhythm. Maybe before you open it up again, Palmer, or do you trust him right away? Uh, he seems to me like the guy maybe that just needs to kind of get into the flow of the game. So maybe you get the running game going here and just give him some easy looks to let him get lathered up. We'll take a quick break as we have reached the final two minutes of the first half. Here comes the offense on second down. Back to throw. It's Milro. Dumps it to the back. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. We know this guy's a weapon, not just taking handoffs, but he can catch the ball, too. That play, not so much. Got to do a better job reeling it in.
third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. And the DB making a huge play, knocking it away down. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now, setting up a big decision here on fourth down. On the run, still looking. Gets drilled as he releases it, and the ball just trickles to the ground. And aggressive play calls. Everybody wants you to be aggressive. They're aggressive. They take their shot. Now they got to live with a little bit of the consequences. They turn the football over on downs. Now their defense has to go out on the field and make some stops. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. And that's a really nice play. It's impressive. When it's first down and the defense thinks you might be running the football, you still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running back. To the ground with the back. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous. And the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. And they're able to get a third down stop here. See if they go for it on fourth. The offense stays on the field. Maybe they'll try to make the defense jump. They also might try to run it ahead for one yard. He's not going to get there. Stopped short on fourth down. Well, here's a classic sudden change situation early in the game. We're going to see a few of these as the game goes on. But with the defense getting that stop on fourth down in their opponent territory, the offense now has an opportunity to come out here and maybe take a shot in this sudden change situation, see if they can catch the defense napping. He wants to start this drive with a pass. And as he throws, can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Well, he didn't have a whole lot of time to get rid of that one. The defense was all over him right after the snap. No wonder that thing fell incomplete. Ball still at the 45 after the incompletion. They'll snap it second and 10. Quickly complete. Got room at the 35. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And that's why, if you're the offensive coordinator, you've got to find as many ways as possible to get this guy going. Just get him the ball close to the line of scrimmage. Doesn't need to be a throw deep down the field. He's so dynamic when he has the ball in his hands. You saw it right there. And it's incomplete. It was wild high and wide on that one. And now on second down for this offense. Looking downfield, it's Milrow. Fires to the tight end. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. Well, I know the tight end did some good things after the catch, but got to give the quarterback credit, too, for the location of the throw. Because he put it out in front of his big man, he was able to make the catch and accelerate, creating some distance there between him and the defense. Grabbed in the backfield, it's Haynes. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. The offense wastes no time getting the timeout call. And in the final seconds of the first half, they'll send out the field goal unit. Splits the uprights. It's good. And the field goal to end the half takes us to halftime. Ready to start the second half. Alabama will kick it off. And it's caught from inside the 20, and here he comes. And the returner will be brought down. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. 
They start this third quarter one possession game and hoping to get an early drive going. This offense is ready, and they're ready to take the field here and see if they can get something established. They don't have to change everything and reinvent the wheel. They've had some successes in the first half, so let's get that continued here on the opening drive. Yeah, and I love getting that break at half to go talk with my coaches and pick my offensive coordinator's brain so I know exactly what I need to do to attack this defense, and I get ball first. And the Canes will keep this drive going. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. Martinez on the carry. Not a whole lot of progress made there on the short run. Lining up to convert third down. Now the quarterback changing the original play call. the shotgun they go to the ground and they did not let him get to that first down line it'll bring up a call here they're a couple of yards short of the first down but the offense will stay out there on fourth down They'll try to pick up the first. And it's a first down. They'll mark it at the 44. You know, college football... ...much about emotion and momentum and trying to find parts of games where you can grab it. How about going for it on fourth down on your own end of the field early like that and coming away with the first? That's huge. He spun that wheel of fortune by challenging the call, and it does not go his way, and he loses the timeout. Well, he did everything he could to try to avoid all those defenders, but at the end, it's still a negative play. Tackle for loss. One defender, then the next one. The blitzing guy got a shot at him. Everybody had a shot. It took a while to get him down. Yeah, great effort by that defense. Not quitting on the play. From the gun, the ground game. They could have used a little bit more there. Pick up a three. It's third and seven. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. Receivers telling the quarterback what they see. Give to the running back. They get him on the ground, and that'll be the final play of this third period. The Canes will bring the punt team onto the field. He ought to be able to use his first punt to pin him deep. Boy, they had a chance to track that thing down, but it bounces into the end zone for a touchback. Here comes that Alabama offense. And in a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating. And you got to put that behind you. You got to see what this defense has been doing to be so successful. Palmer, now use it against them. Yeah, David, I think for a play caller, this is tough, right? It's like you have to have the perfect play on just to get a first down. In these types of games, I think you're just trying to get guys out in space, see if a dude can break a tackle. Maybe that generates an explosive play, and it breaks this trend. 
Yeah, it's make or break time for this defense. Now, they got to get a stop. And if that's bringing more bodies in, bringing more beef in, they're running the football right up the gut, right at you. They're not going to throw the football in this situation. Time to be more physical and get this big stop. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run after the catch. So pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth, David, if I were allowed to put, have push passes <laughs> when I was playing quarterback. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead coming around the outside. Offense gets set for second down. Wide receiver now comes in motion. They'll keep it on the ground, trying to milk the clock. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. This is a big pressure moment for the offense, too, because they've got the lead, but it's now third down on their own side of the field. They would love nothing more than to be able to convert this, stay on the field, keep leading the clock, but the defense I'd expect them to bring pressure here, trying to force the ball out of the QB's hands quickly. How about that? You don't see those, you know, touch passes go for negative yards very often. Usually this is a short flip that counts as a completion that goes a long way, but the defense aggressive. Saw it, pulled the trigger, came outside, made sure he didn't get outside and get to that edge. Nice job by the defense. They stop it! As a defense, that's all you can ask for. Give the ball back to your office. Yes, you're still down. You gave them a chance. They got the football. They got some time left. Now can they put a drive together, maybe go tie this game, maybe go win this game. Great stop by this defense. Yeah, and this offense has to find a way to run the football. They, they got to get more curry. But whatever that looks like for this offense, something to jumpstart them because nothing really going on the ground. Yeah, defensively, though, you got to give them credit, too, because they knew that physically they were going to try to be challenged up front. That was a big M.O. for this offense coming into it. But the defense, they've risen to the occasion. Their front seven has dominated this entire game. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. Just making a play, getting it to the 23-yard line. It'll be first down. You know, they pride themselves on being physical at the point of attack, dominating at the line of scrimmage. Nice job there picking up the first down. The carry going off right tackle here. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. The gift to the back. He breaks a tackle. Boy, there wasn't much room to wiggle for that running back there. None at all. Great job by the defense getting in the backfield quickly, closing up all the holes, nowhere to run. Let's see what they've dialed up on third and long from the 22. They'll give it to the back. Nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks for the first down. You know, as a defense, you can have the right call and the right guy in the right spot, but that guy's just too good. And how about the running back on that play? Just making it, breaking off the huge gain. It's tough to get these guys on the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Timeout called by the offense. A mere 10 seconds go. to go Wait. in the game. Single, Defense single. rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. And he's knocked down. Timeout on the field and four ticks left to go. And this field goal attempt might be their chance to save themselves. And with four seconds left, this one to save the game. Right down the boulevard, it's good. And they tie it up, fellas, here in the final second. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. 
That one bounds through the end zone, and it'll be a touchback. They'll put this one in play for a snap of the drive from the 25. Looking for a man. It's Milrow. Time to take a shot. It's incomplete, and the clock strikes zero, and we are headed to overtime. And I don't think they got it snapped before the play clock ran out. They'll decline the penalty here and let the result of that play stand. Two running backs alongside the quarterback. Looking to go up top on first down. Grab behind the line. It's Miller. They make the stop, but not before he sets them up with a first and goal from the 10. First and goal as they try to jump on top here in overtime. Keeping it on the ground on first and goal. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He'll run it up the middle, trying to pick his way to the end zone. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. They've got a little work to do here on third and goal in overtime. On third and long, you'll need to push it downfield. Complete out of the backfield, looking for the sticks. Hard hitting tackle. So they'll send out the field goal team to try to take the lead here in overtime. It's string right in the middle of the uprights there. And they've regained the lead. Down by a field goal and a touchdown will win it. Let's see what they've got on first down. Going with the ground game left. They stop him right on the edge of the red zone. A pickup of five to the 20. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They'll turn to Martinez. They've got a little work in front of them here on third down if they want to keep this drive alive and try to win it with a touchdown. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. And there were some collisions in there, and the D finally stops him short of the marker. This kicker is going to need nerves of steel on this one. And he's already made one. The holder will put it down at the 26 for a 36-yard try. No good. 
And after the miss, they're still down by a field goal. It always comes down to a few key plays in a game like this, but to lose in overtime, just an absolute kick in the gut. It's a kick in the gut, and you remember those exact plays, Reese. The things I could have done a little bit better or the ball could have bounced my way. Just a few of those little plays make the difference in winning or losing a ball game. And I think as players, too, David, you know, when you watch the film, you didn't do enough, but you definitely had some positives out there on the field. Guys stepped up, guys delivered, and put you in a position to win. In the end, moving forward, when the game's on the line, you got to be able to close games out. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer and David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.